We did one veto. I played Doctor a few times in CVC. He's quite a good player. But I haven't seen him play against any CVT or any C uh, CVP yet. So, uh, this is currently 1 0 down at the moment, Doctor. But um, we'll see. We'll see what, what he can do. So I'll let you do the intro this time. Cool. That loading screen. Right, let's do this. St still waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so up here in the top right of Habitation Station, we have the Blue Terran, which is Fridge Mind. And then the top left of the map, we have the Purple Zerg, Dr. Xpian. What is his name? <laughs> Xpen. Xpen. <laughs> I get it. He might, it's all good. He, he might be X Men's friend. <laughs> okay, so. He might be his pen. This map. <laughs> this map's a good map for Terran, in my opinion. Really? I think uh, it's quite a good Zerg map, though. Yeah, it depends a bit. It's easy to defend, like, Bailing busts and Roach pushes, because they have to come up the ramp. Yeah. Um, at the same time, it's terrible for Reapers. You don't really want to go Reaper on this map at all. But there is the new meta of TVZ where you open 11 racks, 11 gas. However, I was about to say, we were just about to see a gas first, which is just bad news bears in TVZ. So I think he might be going 11 racks, 11 gas, which means he's going to go three Reapers and aim to kill some Queens. So we're going to see. I would like to see Mech on this map, though. Mine's quite bio player, though. Mine yeah. Hmm. It'll be interesting if what the what the uh, Zerg player does. Quite nowadays, there there's a lot of 15 pull going on. I don't know whether you know notice that it's just to deny the early Reaper yeah. attack rather than having that time gap between you know get a few extra links out just to defend it or losing a drone and having that early queen so that early not early hatch do benefit a little bit. You see, live does it a few times if you watch any um, tournament. Happens on Levy quite a lot now as well. Okay, so mine's just gonna go standard 12 gas. And he's gonna aim, probably just get a Reaper out. But he is getting the second depot before the command center. Which is strange. Because you don't need to. So maybe, maybe he's gonna go factory first. And then expand. Bad. Which is, which is a strange build. It hasn't been done since like, everyone used to do Roach Bailing all in in Wings of Liberty, so we will find out, but I don't think he's going to do that because he's building the Reaper, which means he's using gas, so he's not going to go for a fast factory. But he is going to expand. Strange. Well, Zerg's thinking it's gas now, so obviously he's trying to get his early link speed up as quickly as possible to deny any, you know, any Reaper rather than heavy link. Yeah. Um, we'll see how much damage this little Reaper can do. So basically what he's looking to do here is just to get in and to scout the gas. He wants to see how much gas has been mined. And uh, if it's over 100, he needs to shit himself. If it's at 100, it's all good. So let's see what he does here. Because extra gas is obviously either go for a quick layer or if go for a uh, roach push or even go for a bandit bus. You, you know, there's a lot of options now for that gas plate. Yeah. Uh, dancing around a little bit there, obviously. Hoping for the queen to come out in a short time. There is falling out on the map. Okay, so Doctor does pull out our gas at 100, which means it's going to go for speed and just hopefully get an early third. So we do have the second Reaper coming across the map. And after that, he did throw down a factory. So he's going to follow up with Hellions. He's probably going to get four to six Hellions just to keep the creep to a minimum. Yep, standard opening. Very and then he'll probably get a third CC or if he wants to be aggressive, he'll throw down two more racks. So that's probably what's going to happen. There it is, third CC. Yep. So uh, we're going to see a macro game. Which is good. I want to see a macro game. Do you think the Terry will get um, get the gold, or do you think he's just going to sit down at the mm. uh, slightly down, down south? What, what's your preferred option? If if he's going to go right, he's switching these around. He's going to build four to six aliens. He's going to grab stim, get a second gas, yeah. then he'll throw down his eBay's, and then it depends. If he gets tanks, tanks are extremely good on this map because if the Zerg does take the gold base, yeah. you can siege up down here, yeah. and you can take the tower and just shell the shit. And he is taking the gold base. So, as mine has seen this, he should go tanks. And if he does that, he should then take the gold base. Because if you have tanks, you can just 
stick you can defend this so easily. Yeah. Okay, so this is this is weird. Let's see what he's gonna do. Here come the first set of Hellions coming across the map. Well, speed links are nearly done, so they're running around chasing the Hellion. I mean, he needs to get these Reapers out of there, which he does successfully. See, this this is kind of a good map. It's a good map. Terran. It's strange that he took the gold there, to be honest. Most Zergs don't, just because of the siege tanks. Yeah, just because of the siege tanks. But normally, normally Zergs just take the uh, the third of the you know, the lower, lower bit of the map. And yeah. And then downwards, getting fourth and fifth down there, and then hope, hopefully we'll get the gold whenever he's on you know, a good advantage. So we do see a massive swell of Lings coming out. 26 on the way. Well, it's um, scouted. There's not a third from the Terran yet. So Doctor's actually paying his attention, getting his scouting in the middle. Notice there's no gas coming off this. There's no gas, no second or third gas coming down. So he's probably just swam a lot of quite large, large up numbers of links at the moment. This, yeah, this isn't a good up. idea. Going up there was, was not very clever, but he's going to get surrounded and this is bad. Like as a Terran player, if you lose the, you don't want to lose these. If you lose these now, we'll see in the production tab any second drones. There we go. Seven drones. Doctor has nothing to worry about for the next three to four minutes. He can do whatever the hell he wants. And he's actually going to throw up a Balin nest. Um, he might abuse the lack of... Well, where do the drones and the natural go? No, it's coming out, it's coming out. Oh, he moved them to the gold. Mm, that's strange. Well, getting that extra income might not be a bad call, actually. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so what's going down here? We've got two eBays coming up. Followed by the, the fifth and sixth, I mean the fourth and fifth racks. Yeah. Wait, think about. Yeah, yeah. And the, where's the starport? Just getting down. Ah, starport. Yeah. Okay. A bit late on the starport, though. No, this is good timing. He's just yeah. forgot combat shield, which is bad. Yeah, um, it's a bit late, though, isn't it? I think. Two Evo should be. That should be before the banning this in the layer. Yeah. Right, so we're equal on, on harvesters, which is pretty strange. Uh, he did pump out. Yeah, should be slightly more than this, but Still we shall see. He should be taking the, the gas now. Well, he's taking the gold advantage, though, so that, that will help. Hmm. One thing that is lacking quite a lot is his creep spread. <laughs> like, at this point, when, when, the, when the Terran loses, the Reapers and the Hellions, the only reason that you build those units is to deny the creep yeah. uh, and scouting information, and he's lost them. So, at this point, Doctor should be going crazy with creep, like, just all over the place. But uh, he only has one queen out on the map, so... Well, the overall scouted, obviously, the third's taking on the gold. So, yeah. Um, Interesting. His what is his reaction, obviously, at the moment? Is that, it hasn't thrown down any tech from his layer yet, so I don't know whether it's got to be a, a spire or it's still droning up heavily, though. Mm, yeah, it should be... Going in. Plus one, plus one's going on, putting him down his fourth. Mm, he should throw down the spire, like, any he second should, now. Yeah, he there it is. <laughs> oh yeah. All right. So he has he has still hasn't started combat shield. This is gonna hurt him in the long run. It's like such a big upgrade in this matchup. Well, um, if the timing is right, hopefully the bending speed and the plus one plus ones will happen, and then you know trade with all this marine, then the Zerg will be a, a good advantage. Anyway. Okay. So he's moving across. This is the standard timing. Normally you would have two medevacs. The third and fourth will be on the way, and you'd have six Hellions and two Reapers. So. After he lost all those, this push is like, well, a lot weak, isn't it? yeah, it's so small. So he could get, mm, he does have slow banes. He could target down the banes. He should fight this. Yeah, he he shouldn't fight it on creep well, though. So. Certainly to come back and pull back off on creep. Mate. He's pushing, he's pushing with our banes. Hmm. He shouldn't be fighting off creep, and he definitely shouldn't be fighting without the speed banes. So, that's a good trade there. For mine, to be honest, he probably wants to lift up here. He's got to lift up and drop it straight to his third. Will of mine's backing up in the back. So there is a lot of productions coming along, mate. So 28 legs game production. Oh no. Oh man. So this widow mine's right there. They're going to go. Oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Just trying to tank it into all that. That was a good engagement there by uh, by Doctor. But he is losing a lot of drones. Yeah. Seven gone down, eight. Uh, No static defense at the main or the natural or even the fourth yet, so ten ten mutilers immediately get 
more thin. So yeah. hopefully that it's no turret yet. Basically, what he wants to do with these mutas is just fly them straight around into the main. There are no turrets currently in anywhere on the map. Um, and he wants to get this pressure off of his third base. Like, he just wants to do as much as possible to get him away. He also has forgotten his 2 2 upgrades, which is going to hurt him like so long. The uh, mine's playing pretty well here. He's not fighting on creep, which is good. The mutas have now been revealed. And I wonder if he'll throw down some turrets. We do have five overlords on the way. Here go the muters. They're going to go around and they're, they're on, there's only two turrets. The turrets are now being thrown down. He's going to get a lot of kills here. Nice little bit of harass. Why not? From there. Bloody hell, there's a lot of turrets there, isn't it? Yeah, but they're not in time. He shouldn't be fighting these marines. I still can't believe he hasn't built combat shield yet. You probably forgot about it, I reckon. Yeah. Well, the the, the Mutilus is definitely stacking up at the moment. Hmm. He's getting plus one Mutilus. Getting another nine drone up, so he's production-wise doing okay. But supply-wise, yeah. he's behind in it. It's about 20 unit behind. What Mine's looking to do here, he's going to wait for the 2-2 two, two upgrades, which are about to finish, and he's going to take any fight that he can. Against the 1-1, one, one, he has the upgrade advantage. He has... He has every advantage pretty much ever. And uh, he's clearing up the creep. He's being a wise man. He's not stepping foot on there. The Mutilus is attacking the third again, just nipping in. <clears throat> I'm going to get a lot of kills here. Yeah. I think the Mutilus definitely, all you want to do is just to buy time, basically. Just to drag, yeah. Them, yeah, drag the Marine back out. Just buy some more time so he can morph in more banglings, get more gas in going on. The gas is not hitting it as much as, you know, as much as... Ooh! Them widow mines, man. Fuck Just killed like five muters. And there's some good mute harass there, to be honest. We're at a third base. He did. He did manage to hold off this two to push, and he's coming in. Here we have the engagement. Here we go. Here we go. Not on creep. Oh, he's fighting off creep at the moment. Oh man, that's bad. That is that's painful. Bad. That is painful. He lost maybe ten banes for like nothing. <laughs> Mate, he needs some barrel, man. <laughs> barrel banes. So he's dropping again at the gold base, killing off more stuff. Here we go, here we go. Ah, oh, there's just no Zerg army, man. Look at the army supply. Yo, I just zoomed out. I didn't even think he could do that. We have 140 army supply well, to 69. Yeah, it's, it's way over, mate. He needs to do a counter-attack or actually try to, you know, sacrifice, sacrifice his, his, his gold and try to come around the other end, mate. Right he's oh, trying to he's... get us around. Look at them splits, man. And they're going to go over the balins. Oh, the... oh, my that God. That is painful. Uh, let's look at the units lost tab, man. 15,000, I mean, 11,500 to 5,000. Oh my god. This this game. Mine's played absolutely genius. Yeah, I think it's, it's spot on, mate, today. We got Harass going in again with the Muse. He's just trying to buy time as much as possible, but mate, okay. we have like. Such a short distance map, obviously. Yeah. To, by the time you morph. You morph your lings out, you haven't got enough time to just, you know, transfer it to Banglings or hitting him in free spot at the moment. It's over, mate, I think. Hitting him natural, hitting his main, dropping the main. Attacking his third, harassing and pushing in the front, so it's four way attack, mate, GG. GG, GG. -G -G. It was a good game, though, to be honest. Right, so 2 0 so far in the CVT. This is best of five. Yeah, it is best of five, mate. So we'll probably switch around in between the Sam game and, and, and their game simultaneously. Cool. Sam just finished another game, so let's see. Who won? Uh, I don't know. It could be. I wonder what the score now. Was theirs a best of three as well? No, it was all best of five, force. I mean, no, yeah, yeah. How come they're not on? Oh, Sailor's 3-1 at the moment. 3-1. So, Sam, so Sam's out. Sam's out. So it's a TVP. Oh, this is going to be good. This is going to be good. So Sailor's in the final. 
Wait, this this game's too uh, okay here, so it could be a TVP or a PVZ. Well, I don't think at the moment. I think definitely a Terran favorite coming out of this. Uh, yeah, this group mine's here. absolutely dominating. Let's check out his his win percentages in TV, TVZ. So, Terran versus oh, holy shit, seventy six percent. So it's his best matchup. Next up is TVP, which is his 56%. Uh, uh, still very good win res uh, ratio. <laughs> Sam Show, come on, Doctor! <laughs> Why does he want to see ZVP, man? No one wants to watch that. Seen enough of that in Code S, Code A, Pro League. You see the Code S qualifiers. Yeah, it's like 14 Zergs, 14 Protoss, <laughs> 4 Terran. <laughs> 4 Terran, that was funny. Oh, man. Uh... Hold on. What's going on? Is Sam, is Sam coming in yeah. as well? Right, let me get him on Skype as well. Sam can do the camera. <laughs> oh, I can do the camera, one or the other. Uh, I'll call you back in one sec. Cool. Yo. Hello. Sam, you here? Where's he gone, man? Oh, he's an ex is he accepted? Hello. Hello. Yo. Well, you're streaming at the moment as well, so we're free co cast at the moment. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, how did you go, mate? How did you go with Sailor, by the way? How do you think, man? <laughs> uh, what happened? What happened? Well, you saw me. The last game you saw was me win. 11 with, um, 11. 11 11. Just, I just <laughs> didn't know what to do with Thankfully, it worked. Um, then, I think it was. Oh, what map was it? What was name? Yeah, well, it was it was alterism. Um, alterism. <laughs> <laughs> alterism, man. <laughs> Whatever, man. Anyway, Strong, stronghold, stronghold. <laughs> yeah. I did some weird. I did some weird two barracks stim timing thing that I didn't actually pull off because I was too scared to move out. And then he went. Oh yeah, he went DTs. I didn't have any turrets, so I did just straight away. No scan. Oh shit. Okay, next game, whatever. Then I went. Oh, what did I do? Oh yeah, I went. Yeah, I went uh, 13 gas into Hellions to surprise him. I had two Marines. He then pushed with his Zealot, Stalker, Mothership yes. Corps, and um, I, I stupidly walled off so then he could take my supply depots out. So I just, again, I just kind of thought, oh, oh dear, this is, <laughs> this is a loss, anyway. So then I lost I was pretty hard and pretty quickly. The first two games, so I'm, I'm I'm surprised I took one game off. To be honest with you, so even if I did cheese, I don't care. It was the, it was the, you have you have to beat Sailor with some weird shit, really. <laughs> the only way. It was interesting watching the first game when he did the six Colossus push. He like oh yeah. When you did your like little poke, you saw the first Colossus, but he had a Robo second Robo like super early, like maybe yeah. seven minutes. And he was just chrono and him out there entire like no upgrades, just all in, man. It's crazy. Yeah. But I can't believe he didn't scan. I was like, fucking scan, man. <laughs> so this is weird. Uh, I, I knew he was doing it. I knew he was do gonna do some, over and you could see me scan his army because I saw him and I was like, all right, okay, some of those are, some of those are uh, hallucinated. And then I scanned and like none of them were hallucinated. So I was like, oh my god, <laughs> there's no way I can deal with that. Yeah, that was funny. And that's what would have happened if I macroed every time with him. I would just sort of lost straight up. So I have to do some weird shit every game to yeah. even consider beating him. So this game's. I'm, I'm this happy game's... Fun. Anyway. What are you saying? Go on, carry on. Let's focus on this game. <laughs> right, so this game, I know exactly what mine's doing. This is like a Yume, you know, Quantic Yume, the Terran. He's an absolute genius. This right. is a mech build. So basically, what you do is you, you don't get gas early. You don't get Reapers, you get two Marines, three Marines, then you get your factory after the double gas. He's gonna go five 
He's gonna go four Hellions with Cloak Banshee, get his double armory, and then he's gonna build a second Banshee, Ravens, and he's gonna go Mech, and it's gonna be Beast. So, yeah, it's That's gonna be sick. Really specific. Uh, yeah, you even do the I do even do it. I do it all the time. <laughs> Yeah. So basically what he's looking to do here is to deny this overlord which is coming across the map from seeing the armories. Now I guess he's probably going to put armories like down below the mineral lines. Um, you just don't want them seen because as soon as that happens, the Zerg's going to build swarm hosts and you know what happens when that happens, you just lose the game. Bro. We're going to have a long fucking game. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, happens. we'll see mate, we'll see. It's still early yet. I like to see swarmers. I actually like watching them. Well, eventually. I mean, not 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 too many. Not ZVP style. I kind of like I like using them when I was when I was a, um, but I mean I don't. It was hard to because once you lost them, and it was hard to get up to a maximum, a good number of them because they cost so much. Hmm. Because what what they normally do is they they build muter and they use the muter to harass while they. Get 20 bases and shit. Mm. Okay, so we do have the tech lag coming down, so it's going to be exactly what I said. And we should see just after he starts cloak two armories. And he's pretty much looking to just. With the four to six hellions, just to do some kind of. Oh my god, no, no. we have two base bailing bust. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah was there we are, mate. The, the links are out. The bailing's going to be ready. Speed link's going to be ready. I honestly got... think that mind is going to be okay. Because he's gonna have four, six Hellions and a Cloak Banshee, so if he yep. if he walls up, which is he's using this one SCV at the front to continuously make depots, he only needs two more depots and it's walled. So well, it's coming now. Oh, he needs to be he needs to be so ready for this, man. He has. He's, out. Oh, he's moving out. That's a bad start. Mm, he'll see it early, and he's gonna throw down the two armories like any second now. Well, he sees he it does now. not yeah. want to get surrounded. That is bad news, bears, man. I wonder if you will build a tank. He's on the way. Banshee's on the way. The, the, those banings oh, will be nothing. Banshee's going away. Two, two widow mines. Two widow mines. This is a good. This is Another a good bunkers. reaction here. If he focuses down, there's only four banings, man. If he just. Do, 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 do. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ready. Holding it. Oh my god, that's genius. Why is Morphe's banning there? Unfortunately, I should have. Doctor should have sent the links in first because he just sent the banings on their own, so he didn't even have to target. Unfortunately, I think, yeah. Oh man, that sucks. I wanted to see the mech macro game. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to see your predictions, man. We didn't couldn't really see it. 